What's up, ladies and gentlemen? How are you guys doing? This is not what you guys want to see. We have Stevie Ray Vaughan. A lot of people have been telling me about this. And this is actually the second video we're doing of Stevie Ray Vaughan on the channel. I'm going to do a lot more. And I need your suggestions because I'll look through the comments, which ones you guys want to see in the comment section down below. I'll take a look through it. And then, you know, the most upvoted one or the most recommended one will be the third video. How about that? Now, if you guys don't know, Black Pegasus actually introduced me to Stevie Ray Vaughan when I went uh, to America. Let me just check my settings real quick. When I traveled to America over there, he showed me this. And then he said, yo, this guy is incredible. You need to watch this. One of the best guitarists in the world. And uh, a lot of people have been giving me suggestions for other guitarists, for example, Van Halen. Uh, but that, this is not about Van Halen. It's just giving some backstory about it. Now, we're just going to continue diving into this one because many people in the comment section said, hey, man, you have to check out Texas Flood live at the El Mocambo. Am I saying that correct, guys? I don't know. Subscribe. No more BS. Like. The link to the original is in the description for anybody that's new to this, just like me. Go, man. There he is. He's already starting it off. Fucking dope. Oh, uh, blues line, huh? Absolutely caressing that thing, bro. I just want to point this out. I'm not going to pause it too much because I'm going to enjoy this one, but I just wanted to mention. If you take a look at the guitar, right? Where is this shit? Uh, right there. You can see the paint job is uh, wearing off. There's wear and tear on this guitar, but that only shows how much this thing has been used, you know? And there's something, perhaps it's sentimental value that you create when you have something like this and the device is just completely, uh, you know, you fucked it up through playing with it. But that's a good thing because it shows, oh shit, dude, serious. And then you hear him playing, you're like, yup, the, the first minute he starts playing, oh, this is most of the play? The first minute, the first seconds, five seconds he starts playing, you're like, damn, this dude's crazy. Obviously. That, oh, fuck, shit, that's sexy shit he's doing. Dang. Eyes closed, feeling it in the zone. That's an intro and a half right there. All of the telephone lines are down. Well, it's flooding down in Texas. All of the telephone lines are God, this song is good, man. God damn, this is good. It sounds fucking amazing. Look at Sam. Well, I bet you're gonna call my baby. Mm. No, no, I can't get a single sound. Well, the clouds are rolling. Mm -hmm. Man, I'm standing out in the rain. Rolling. 
Right. Get it. Get it. Bro, the way he fucking plays it's all fucking different. Oh, my God. Mine's about to drive Paul Stevie Ray inside. Motherfucking professional on my screen right now. God. What's, I have to pause that at least once because copyright's gonna be on my ass if I let it play. If I let the entire thing play, like copyright's gonna be really difficult to deal with. They will, they might block it. They will probably block it or try to block it if I just play it in one go. That's why sometimes it's good, especially with like big videos like these that are signed of artists that are signed to major labels. You need to be careful with that. So if you see a lot of people pause. That's that could be one of the reasons, right? Visual blocks as well. It happens. This dude, <laughs> yo, I'm just sitting here. How much time has gone? It's eight minutes have gone past. I didn't even realize, man. That's this thing when you're just vibing to something and you're enjoying it so much. I'm enjoying this. This ain't even work no more. I'm just enjoying this. I'm just sitting here. just breath. I'm, I'm entertained. You guys are watching reactions for entertainment and for perhaps nostalgic purposes or seeing somebody react to something for the first time or you know and i share that moment with you guys and you guys appreciate that moment right or some level of expertise and apologies for it but i can't really give you much expertise on this because i have none on this specific uh, if you want rap expertise or beatbox expertise i can give you that with this i'm not very familiar with everything that's going on but i do acknowledge what the hell is going on right um, i also wanted to say i want to say two things one normally in bands you have the lead vocalist and then you have the band right that's how a lot of the times it's perceived and you have a part for the electric guitarist to do a solo maybe the bass guitarist does a little solo maybe there's a little drum solo but most of the times lead vocalist most of the times sing it and then a little part where there's a breakdown or there's a solo implemented nowadays i think it's a lot less which is a bit unfortunate the solos that is like uh I don't hear it that much on modern rock or metal. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I haven't seen it yet. Like, I'm very much under a rock. Uh, but in this case, Stevie was like, nah, bro. Nope. We're letting the guitar shine. And then I'll do a little bit of my vocals. And by the way, his vocals are absolutely beautiful. Well, beautiful is not the right word. They're, they're gritty. They're masculine. I like this. It's very dope vocals. Because this entire thing and this video, is this like 70s or something? Y'all got to remind me. This reminds me of when, my, when I was uh, a baby, well, a kid. My dad used to have these cassettes. He had these CDs and he had these LPs, vinyl and, and all that. And he would uh, just, you know, sit in front of it and start playing these things. And I'll be like, and he'll play it on the speakers. So as a kid, as a baby, I grew up listening to stuff like uh, Jethro, Jethro Tull, I think is how you pronounce it. Jethro Tull, I'm uh, mispronouncing because of the, the Belgian in me, you know. Oh, and uh, Judas Priest, Black Sabbath, those type of things. Those I grew up on those. I grew up on those. So, hey, if y'all want to see me react to those, I'll gladly revisit my childhood. Right. Sounds a bit traumatic. It sounds like something you'd say at a therapist. Yeah. 
magnificent work, bro. <laughs> His stank face. He's like, yeah, I did that. That was disgusting. <laughs> yeah. Look at that sweat, man. Like, this is fucking putting in work. Or respect. I respect it. Did he just tune or tighten the strings? Oh my god. Is known, like, this is fucking fantastic. Wait, what the? How did he do that? Wait, hey, could you show that again? What the fuck? What you saying? How did he do that? How did he do that? Oh, he. Okay, I was like, what? Because there's a strap. That's what he did. I thought he was doing the wawa thing or whatever it's called that is that a wawa somebody said in the comments but he got he loosened he took it off and then he took it but i was like that got me confused that was an optical illusion moment for me man hey okay this is man hey come on bro like you had me the first six minutes oh my god Behind his back. How is this even possible, man? How do you even do that? He's flexing on everybody. He's still playing behind the back. I'm done with this guy, man. I'm done. Every day I'm speechless, bro. That the ending, the entire thing is fantastic. I, I gotta listen. This is the studio version, huh? Oh, one hundred percent. I want this one. This is gonna be put on in the car. This is gonna be blasted in the car, extremely loud, and the live version as well. This is incredible. 
y'all gotta let me know more i, I just kind of just want to go dive into all the other stuff but i'll leave the decision up to you guys